how has your training um, methodology changed over over time? Maybe uh, how how a training session is different or the same as um, when you began coaching to to now. Well, I can say to you, and I'm really proud of this, that I never gave the same training in my life. The concept was there, but I always changed something, something in the exercises, um, something in the order of organization. What is really important for me and that developed, I developed by all the years is the organization of the training. I don't like that players have to wait. Mm -hmm. For example, in a row of attack, I always try to find an organization where nobody is waiting longer than five to ten seconds, not more. It's impossible. So that means that my trainings are more intense. And this is why I like also, it's about intensity. Um, I prefer to train one hour and a half with good intensity, with a good focus, with a good physical charge, than to make really long trainings. It depends, of course, of the group you have, because I'm also training long time with youth players when you have to develop techniques, but also there, I think you can find a way to reduce the time of practice, but to give always higher quality. I like that the player, when he's using or when he's learning technique, is executing five times, but very good. Then to repeat 100 times and 50 are bad. Yeah. So um, I think you have to give them really well the image from the first time. Yeah. It's like this I want. And you are only going to do like this. And there you develop, like um, in the practice, I say always, the first 45 minutes of practice, I'm going to be a dictator. Sorry for the word, but you have to do the things like I want that you do the things. Because I'm convinced that this technique can be good for you. And there are a lot of ways to, to learn a technique. But when I see you now with your physical abilities, your posture, I think this technique is the best for you. Mm -hmm. So please, do it always. When you do just pepper, put your feet right. Open well in the shoulder. Those are small details, but you do this every time. And then you are going to develop a good technique. If you one time you put your right foot in front or you are attacking just with the elbow or whatever, oh, it's fun, but you are never going to learn the good technique. So um, that's what I want to say. Um, I prefer to give them the right image and the good image from the beginning. Then you don't have to train so much. I prefer to train, for example, three times one hour a day or two times, one hour and 45 minutes, but always at a very high quality. And uh, only, I know also, only perfect practice makes you, makes a perfect play. Mm -hmm. So why don't you do that from the beginning? I am a setter, and it's maybe one of my biggest points when I start with the team, and I look them how they are setting, and I am vomiting. Yeah. I am vomiting because they cannot set a ball. And then I explain them, okay, this is my technique, but I know I was a setter for so many years, I know it's a good technique. The balls will not slip through your hands if you do this. And please, it tell you, it's so important in this tie-break system, that everybody after a defense is responsible for setting. And this will make the difference between a good team and an average team, is yeah. that everybody can set the ball very well. Yes. High ball to the spots, high spots on the net or to the back row, the pipe, but it's a quality set. So I teach them to set. And this was from the youth 
because I coached all my life through. I coached the youth mm -hmm. to the top level, the highest level. When I was coaching um, Gamova, also in Fenerbahce, mm -hmm. come on, but the Russians, they know how to set. Yeah. The Russians have those techniques. I didn't have to correct her a lot, but there were other players, like star players, yeah. who can even set a ball. So I started with that all the time. So please pay attention to it. It's crucial. I'm going to be a dictator on you in the first part. In the second part, I am the training. I am more a creator. I am going to invent exercises where I can develop the creativity of a player. And I like, for example, a lot of open exercises mm -hmm. who are not always related directly in a three contact game. Okay, we can put five contacts or six contacts and then we can take or develop a player on the technical side because he has more time to prepare his, uh, his action mm -hmm. and we develop also on the technical side because we have a little bit more time to analyze and afterwards you go back to the normal three contact game and there okay I like to see how my players are dealing with the exercise mm 